Hi everyone, in today's Biblical Cities of the Holy Land video, we will take a look at the city of Capernaum. The city of Capernaum is located in northern modern day Israel at the northern end of the Sea of Galilee. The name Capernaum means the village of Nahum, though a direct connection between the town and the Old Testament prophet is not clear, though it is a possibility. The site appears to have been inhabited in some form at least as far back as the 13th century BC, though the town began to grow and became more prominent during the 2nd to 1st centuries BC, and had become a significant settlement in northern Israel and Galilee by the time of Jesus. The importance of the city by the New Testament period is based upon four major factors. One, the fertile land and favourable climate around the Sea of Galilee meant that agriculture thrived around the city. The presence of black basalt millstones and olive presses found at the site support the importance of agriculture to the town. In fact, it's interesting to note that black basalt was also very clearly the preferred building material of the town, as most of the structures found in the town are made of this particular stone. Two, its location directly on the seashore of the Sea of Galilee made the town an important centre for fishing and other related industries, like the construction and repair of fishing boats and nets. 3. The town was also located by the major international highway known as the Via Maris, and therefore many people would travel by and possibly stop at the town as they made their journey along this highway and therefore the town became a trading and communications hub in the region as a result. And four, the town by the time of Jesus' public ministry was also located just inside the borders of the land of Galilee, which was controlled by King Herod Antipas. The lands just to the east on the other side of the Jordan were controlled by Philip, the brother of Antipas. This meant that Capernaum was a logical place for a Roman taxation and customs office to be located between the two kingdoms, so as to tax trade that travelled between the two kingdoms, and also to tax and charge customs on traders travelling along the Via Maris. This required the presence of the Roman military at the town to help manage and enforce customs and local taxation collection from industries like fishing. The presence of a Roman tax and customs office, along with the presence of the Roman military in the town, is clearly seen in the Gospels by the fact that one of Jesus' disciples, Matthew, who is also called Levi, was a tax and customs collector for the Romans, and was working at Capernaum before he was called by Jesus, in Matthew chapter 9 verse 9. Furthermore, in Matthew chapter 8 verse 5 and Luke chapter 7 verse 2, both Gospels mention that a Roman centurion was living in Capernaum during Jesus' public ministry, which indicates that at least one century of Roman troops were located and garrisoned in or around the town at the time of Jesus' ministry. It is clear therefore that Capernaum was an important and significant town in Galilee during the ministry of Jesus Christ. Capernaum is also very significant in the Gospels as Matthew chapter 4 verse 13, chapter 9 verse 1 and Mark chapter 2 verse 1 clearly state that the town became Jesus' new hometown after he was rejected at Nazareth and it also functioned as the centre of Jesus' public ministry in and around Galilee. Based upon the obvious importance of Capernaum, which has already been mentioned above, it is no surprise therefore that Jesus chose this town as the centre of his public ministry. The importance of the town could be seen, for example, in Mark chapter 1, verses 21 to 34, and other passages beside as it records that Jesus taught in the synagogue there, healed the sick, including Peter's mother-in-law, and other things beside. However, in spite of the things that Jesus taught and did in their midst, he later condemns and curses the town, along with nearby Chorazin and Bethsaida, in Matthew chapter 11 verses 20 to 24, and Luke chapter 10 verses 13 to 15, for their lack of repentance and faith in him. 
After the New Testament era, the town continued on in one form or another until the 10th century AD, when it was finally abandoned. From 1865 to the present day, many different archaeological surveys and excavations have taken place at the site. The modern name for the site is Tel Hum. A significant development occurred in 1894 when the Roman Catholic Franciscan Order purchased the western portion of the site. After this purchase, the eastern portion of the site was then purchased by the Greek Orthodox Church. The most significant and famous archaeological discoveries have been located within the western portion of the site. The two notable and most famous discoveries at Capernaum are the synagogue and what is known as the House of St. Peter. The remains of a reconstructed white limestone synagogue, which began to be excavated in 1905, dates to around the 3rd or 4th century AD. However, underneath the limestone structure, an earlier synagogue built of black basalt was discovered in 1968, which has been dated to the 1st century AD. This earlier structure is therefore a strong candidate of being the synagogue in which Jesus preached in at Capernaum during his public ministry. Just to the south of the synagogue is a structure called the House of St. Peter which is located under a modern-day Roman Catholic church that was built in 1990 as both a place of worship and also as a means to protect the ruins that are located below it. It is possible to view the ruins from above within the modern church structure via a glass floor. The original structure consisted of a 1st century AD house, However, of note is that in one room in particular within the house, there is much evidence of a strong Christian connection, consisting of different graffiti engraved on the plaster of the room, which mention the name of Jesus Christ, different Christian names, and depictions of different Christian symbols. These graffiti have been dated to about the mid-first century AD. By the second century, this room and house had apparently become a house church. Of note is that a place of worship in Capernaum that was centred on Peter's house is mentioned in the 4th century AD by a Christian pilgrim named Egeria, who visited the site of Capernaum during her travels in the Holy Land. Other later Christian pilgrims also mention a similar structure at the site of Capernaum and its connection with Peter. In the 5th century AD, an octagon-shaped church was built over the site of the one room to protect it. Now, whether this exact structure is indeed the remains of the house of Peter cannot be proven beyond all doubt. However, the very early and enduring Christian connection with this particular structure cannot be ignored and therefore the building could very well be the remains of the house of Peter. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new videos every Friday.